When he's stacking, my bro, see that you ain't getting that back. I'm lying, I'm and I ain't gonna lie, huh? more time, I thought on the rap. G shot got more bodies than gang, and I bet you she's still gonna cap. Slim thing with a waist. Can I look like Kyle or Ray? More time with her face on Ella, mate. Can't get caught up town with big. Newcastle 1, Manchester United 0. What's good, people? It's your boy Rhino. Welcome to MGTV. This is my Manchester United late match reaction um obviously the game was what two days ago now today's monday was well, we're now into monday but the game was on saturday um it's currently midnight right now and i've been on side's channel and i've been on staffy's channel so i briefly spoke about how i feel and right now it's i'm disappointed man eric ten hog this one's on you my boy this one's on Eric Ten Hag. I can't even lie to you, man. Let's be realistic. Away from home, we're always going to have, you know, difficult games. Let me put the back down here. Yeah. Away from home, we're always going to have difficult games. You feel me? But my issue is that what was the plan against Newcastle? Like, what was the actual plan? Like, what was the tactics? That's my problem. Maybe I should make this the background. What was the tactics? That's my problem. I mean, let me put this one. Like, I couldn't see where the goal was going to come from. We were getting peppered left, right, and center. Like, there was no plan, no idea, nothing. Newcastle were having fun out there. And yet again, our midfield was non-existent. Non-existent. So who else can I blame but Eric Ten Hag? When Ten Hag gets it right, I praise him. When I think that there's certain situations that are working against him, I state it. I'm at, I'm at a point now where I can't defend you no more, my friend. A lot of people will say I've been one of your most loyal, loyal kind of supporters. And I've said you need time. I've said, trust me, let him just work it out. And like my title says, sorry, Eric Ten Hag. I think your time is done now. And do you know why I say sorry? Because I don't want his time to be done. I would wish somehow... He would work it out. But no. Rashford continues to have stinkers. You keep the guy on. He took him off 60 minutes. Rashford should have came off 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes he's off. On the right, he is better. He is more of a team player. I agree. But when Rashford starts games a certain way, we know where it's going. As a Man United fan, we know where the game's going when Rashford starts the game a certain way. Same as Dallow. First 20 minutes, I knew Dallow should be off the pitch. He's not going to have a good game today. Garnacho had his chance at the start. At the start of the first, towards the early, early parts of the probably maybe halfway through the first half. I think he tried to hit it with his left. He took an extra touch and he won a corner, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. I when he, to, when, he when he was running down the left, I kind of saw what he did against um, Galatasaray happening again. Or was it Copenhagen? Galatasaray. I always get the names mixed up, but um, I think it was Galatasaray, yeah. When he scored that nice goal, left foot, excellent finish. Garnacho didn't really have a good game, but he was okay. Um, Kobe Manu was left to hang out dry in that CDM, lone CDM pos position where we've got good midfielders from Newcastle just bossing it. I felt so, sorry for Kobe Manu. Maguire was okay. He's been quite in decent form. 
Dallow was horrible. Wan Bissaka, he had a stinker. He was getting chopped left, right, and center. He had a stinker. Um, who was played? Did Lindelof play? Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw was okay. He had his moments. He didn't have the best game. Kobe is a good player. Kobe Wayne is a good player. He was left hand out to dry. Bruno Fernandez was was bad. He was our only outlet. He did create a few chances, but to Bruno's standard, you need to play well. The standard that we hold for Bruno is to be that captain and play well and create chances. As a captain, he was non-existent. Rashford was poor. Marshall didn't really have a great game. Hoyland came on, didn't really have a great, great game. These players are not playing for this manager no more. And then when I go and search here and look at the next um, fixtures that Man United have, if I type Man United fixtures, yeah. We've got Chelsea next, which I was even going to go to that game. But I said, you know what? I'm not even supporting this club no more. Forget it. we got Chelsea and Bournemouth next. Both at home. Realistically, we should be able to win these games. But I don't know what United is going to turn up. I actually don't know what Manchester United is going to turn up. And it, it, it frustrates me. There you go. Let me put this up here. Sorry, wrong one. Wrong one again, but I'm letting it flow. I don't care. Not that one, this one. So you can see here we got Chelsea. We've got Bournemouth at home. Bayern. Listen, if you can't beat Chelsea and Bournemouth for not being Bayern, we are gonna get pumped by Liverpool away at Anfield Sunday, 4 30. We're getting pumped. West Ham will probably beat us as well. But here might be the turn and point for Ten Hag when he realizes this is not on. You know. If we lose Bayern and Liverpool and then we also lose to West Ham and Villa, it's going to be a cold <laughs> December for Ten Hag. Cold. This is on Ten Hag. Where's the tactics? What have you set the players to do? Why are you playing certain players that are not playing well? Who cool, Anthony had a good game. Why didn't he start this game? Why is Rashford playing? Keep Anthony's form up and see if we can get the best out of him, even though I think he's a poor player. You feel me? What was the plan? What was the tactics? What was the idea? What was the setup? What was the, 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 the um, I'm trying to find a different word without saying plan or idea. What was the, I've got one. What was the um, solution? to killing Newcastle's midfield, to stopping people like Amor, um, Almiron and Gordon. What was the plan? You feel me? Last season, I saw Ten Hag making plans. I saw him man-marking Kevin De Bruyne. I saw him doing mid-blocks. I saw him using Martial as a little press pressing tool where he doesn't really press that much. He invites the kind of pressure and then we've got support behind him to, to um, block, to catch the passing lanes. And, and get the ball, win the ball high up. Because Marshall's trait is not to press hard, pause. It's more of a drawing out thing. You know, he presses lightly and causes the play to come in a certain way. And then we can then set up traps to intercept the ball. What was the plan against Newcastle, bro? Like, I'm just Ten Hag, man. I'm sorry, man. Your time's done now, man. I'm not going to scream Ten Hag out and say get out because I still hope he could change it, but I don't think he can no more. I'm at the point where I can't defend him and I'd, I've run out of ideas. Saeed asked me what was holding, what was I holding on to before? I saw bits and pieces of progress in, in amongst the, the, the mess. You feel me? But now, no hope. He, I think his time's done now. If he gets sat next week, I wouldn't even feel nothing. Before, if it was two weeks ago, I'd feel a way. i think, oh, man, now I don't even care. What, what can be worse? I do want a structure in place. I do want to um, 
director of football, new scouting system and all of that stuff before we bring in a new manager. But uh, at this point, I'd rather take a caretaker manager that can hopefully lift these players up for the rest of the season and get them playing something. Because Ten Hag, I just don't trust you no more, my bro. Last season, you did well. We could play against City. We could play against Liverpool, Arsenal. And I know you would have a plan. You set up these players in a way that we had a plan. Now, I just don't believe in it no more. So your time is done, man. Yes, we could talk about the players. We could talk about all of the stuff happening. But it's your job to set up the players well. And at least be consistent. We played poor against Everton. We still won. We played better against Galatasaray. We still drew. Where's the progress from that? If I saw progress in this game where we still lost, but there was an idea where we tried, cool. None of these players were trying. Kobe Mane was left out in the sticks by himself. Come on, man, Ten Hag, man. This is on you. This is on you, bro. So your time is done, my bro, man. That's what I got to say. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you get your people to, to subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please put post notifications on. And please like the video. It's your boy Rhino, and I'm out. Peace. Man with that 20 stack, if my bro see that, you ain't getting that back. I'm lying up And I ain't gonna lie. Huh? More time, I thought on a rap. Keys shot got more bodies than gang. And I bet you she's still gonna tap. Slim thing with a waist. Can I look like Curly Ray? More time, I face on Ella, mate. Can't get caught up down with me.